Thank you for tuning in. This is your instructor Joy. Thank you for your nice questions, comments, volunteering and booking lessons with me as well as sending donations. I truly appreciate that. So today this video will be an answer to a subscriber. Uh, this violinist is wondering about the left thumb position when holding the violin. Saying that, um, do you only hold the violin with your chin only? I'm having problems for where to place my thumb correctly. So good question. Um, yes, we do hold the violin only with the chin. Um, sometimes, uh, and that, let me answer that one first. So the thumb position should be near index and middle fingers, something like that. So when you hold your violin, it should look like this. So the thumb should be nice and straight near index and middle fingers, something like this. A common mistake that a lot of people do is they're trying to hold the violin with their hand because often I see they're not holding violin firmly enough. Sometimes the violin is hold the violin a little to the end of the chin, therefore the violin is not holding um, so only strongly enough by chin and shoulder, so you have to take over with your left hand, which is not a good thing. M remember, you need to have your left hand completely free so that you can shift, meaning going up and down, so that's vibrato. So try to learn to hold the violin solemnly only with the shoulder and chin. Yeah? Of course, here and there, sometimes we do um, hold violin slightly with the thumb and index finger. Let's say you're playing, playing, you want to adjust, then you have no choice or hold value with your left hand and adjust the value in the proper position that's uncomfortable again. Then you have to let go and then have free hand, yeah? So in general, learn to hold your violin properly with a chin. The guideline for holding violin properly would be, so, uh, you have um, collarbone here, so that should be a good guidance. So find out where, where your collarbone is and your violin should sit right on the collarbone, right? So now some people use their shoulder to have your violin sit. When you're holding your violin on the shoulder, it may feel like it's easier, but see your side, it, uh, the violin is out of your side. You have to turn your head to see that. And then you have to bring your arm all the way, so which will mean your back will be twisted. That's not the best way. So violin should be maybe 30 degrees from the center to the left, something like that. And then have your violin sit on your right collarbone. And also make sure you're holding your violin really digged in in your neck, right? So we're kind of using this end of the chin bone to hook the valley <laughs> so like this after you hold it make sure your neck stays straight some people like to squeeze in or turn twist your neck you see my neck is twisted or like that sometimes for a short time is okay but if you did it too long you will get pain so even after holding your violin on your make sure the violin sits on your collarbone your neck should be somewhat stay straight yeah like that. Make sure the violin doesn't like, quote, go too far out or rather closer to the center or somewhere in between. Yeah, so I would say maybe from the center, 30 degrees to the left, something like that. Once you're done, see that uh, use your, we're gonna let your left hand go because if you're not really comfortable, have your violin holding with your right hand. See if you can let go and then for shortly so that you can catch it if you lose it. Yeah. So again, violin really digged in to your neck. Sitting violin diagonally on the collarbone. Make sure you keep your neck straight. Once you're done, see if you can let go by using your, by leaving your right hand not nearby just in case, but let your left hand go. Yeah, like that. Okay, then once you're done, then place your left arm right under the, your violin. Make sure the wrist is nice and straight. The thumb goes near index and middle finger. Something, oops, something like that. Yeah. Uh, common mistake: some violinists like to hook the thumb. This will uh, stop you from being flowing left hand. Make sure the thumb is not hooked or forcefully pressed this way. Thumb stays nice and relaxed near index and middle finger. Yeah, like that. Of course, we sometimes we flatten the thumb, when, especially when we shift out, or if we want to stretch pinky this way or this way. We do move thumb back and forth. And also when you go higher position, as you know, the thumb position changes from being near uh, index and middle finger. Like, as soon as you hit the fifth position, it hits there, 
right where the oops, where the neck starts and then start sliding on the side of the rib of course so keep that in mind but for now for the first position try to keep the thumb near index and middle finger nice and relaxed and straight without forcefully curving or hooking that one yeah so i hope this answers your question thank you for sending your questions and i hope all of you feel comfortable keep sending me your questions thank you very much hope to see you again please remember to subscribe and share my videos bye bye